Hello and welcome back to day, night, whatever, 28 of Tormenda Plays, 7 Days to Die. So, you're probably asking, what's changed? What have you done? What have I upgraded? How are we going to cope with tonight? And I think the answer to that is mm, probably not enough. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick look. So, most of this now, the edging here is, and while we're talking, I'll carry on. It'll have time to dry just before tonight. Is reinforced concrete. There's a little bit of reinforced concrete edging to go. Now, you're probably thinking straight away, well, hang on, is he done inside these pillars? And the answer to that is yes. I have cut away each pillar in turn and reinforced the piece underneath. So that is solid reinforcement there. Just got one side left to go and the outer frame will be reinforced the same goes with down here oh i now can't get through have i got a duck i've got a duck <laughs> i'll come back to that in a minute so yeah all of these now are fully reinforced concrete so not much has changed but what is here is now stronger. I'm hoping that's going to be enough for night 28. I haven't had a chance to do much else with defenses. Although saying that, I have run a extra wire, electric fence down here, just to protect this edging. And as you can see on the inside there now, there's a lot more concrete or reinforced concrete on the sides, on the inside. They were just coming through too easy last time and just making it hard for me to kill them, running around like idiots in my base as they were. So yeah, this, this interior is a bit stronger too. They like coming up over the top if they can. So way last time they bust through on the barbed wire, put more barbed wire. And the barbed wire is just there to slow them down enough for me to take aim and, and shoot them. The reason why this wouldn't let me through just now, I put a barbed wire on top of the door, and it seems that the model actually comes lower than the edges here and stops me going through. That could actually work to my advantage. That's that's fine. Maybe the zombies will come through there and get stuck if they break the door through. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. So yes, are we still Iron Man? Are we still are Iron Man. Zombie count continues to go up and it's going to get as i said last time harder and harder to get a higher zombie count now because if if the base kills them i don't get given the kill i only get given the kill if i kill them so yeah as the base gets hard the zombie counts actually unless i'm out adventuring it's going to get harder and harder to, to, to get up now the reason i haven't put blocks down here is just the way that some of this fencing is for some reason it it's flagged on the inside not the outside piece on some of these so i can't put a block down there i could upgrade that one i can't put a block down there until that piece of fencing goes and i'm not going to do that until it's it's weaker it's pipeless oh yeah something else i'm never going to find thank you Thank you for the airdrop. I'm, I'm ne never ever going to locate. Great. So, uh, what else is there that's changed? Well, the food status is getting better. I could do with more potato plants. I've only got two. But I did research meat stew. I unlocked some more cooking skills. And the meat stew, I've got one on me. I'm waiting for this to get lower. I mean, this is a cracking 50 amount of food. So when this gets a bit lower, I'll, uh, I'll drop that one. And that's good. If I had a bit more potato, then I would worry a lot less about food and have to go out searching for it less. But we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm trying to save a little bit of potato each time so that I can get enough to make some potato seeds and plant some more. And yes, this farm would be better if it was flush into the ground rather than standing up like that. But I mean, one thing at a time. <laughs> I've got enough 
<laughs> to be doing without oh, look i see it's tempting you go over there go over there on zombie hood day no so that's it i think we're probably going to skip now to the night there's not a lot else to show you oh i have a new a new bat i uh, eventually crafted my own baseball bat it costs a lot of metal but hey got a nice new metal baseball bat all spiked up there not that I'm going to be going down and mellying them tonight. But I have a new bat. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen my little bike. I could do with making a proper motorbike at some point. Eh, at some point. That little uh, moped. I mean, it's great. It means I don't get encumbered. Oh, something else I haven't shown you. Because you're probably thinking, well, where's this cement mixer? Or where, where's this other stuff? Ah, yes, of course. And where's the, the forge that was by here? Come on, we've got time. Let's go for a quick wander. Down into my hole. Down here. Down, down, down we go. Keep going. And then down some more. And welcome to my bunker. So my cement mixer is here. There's more cement ready. I've got, this is my, I might as well start it back off again since we're here. My cement maker, that's my metal and gun ammo and all that kind of thing maker i got another crafting bench here in uh, this is water so i've got plenty of water storage food it's not so great i mean it's a couple of cans i've got things to be processed here so all this stuff here is waiting for me to process it into something it's a load of gun stuff i just need to get the the gunpowder sorted i can make gunpowder in here but it's just so expensive i have made some uh, where's the recipe? Gun. There it is. Uh, you want it in the the um, chemistry station. It's half the cost that it is outside of the chemistry station. The reason I haven't got a chemistry station, there's a space waiting for it, is I haven't found a beaker yet. And beaker is one of those gate items that you, you need. So here's some more storage here. I'm slowly moving stuff from out on the main pillar down to this storage item and there'll be another storage there and there'll be like concrete here and, and labels all the ceiling here will be eventually concreted out to give me some protection down here uh it seems to be a bit too light for them but there's some mushrooms in there and then i continue on of my mine so yes we have an underground mine and this mine is directly underneath the road so should they decide to try and tunnel for me you know what it's like trying to get through those roads. <laughs> they are not easy to dig through. So yes, it's all underneath a road. Which is nice, because that gives it quite a lot of surface toughness. Should they decide to go digging for me. So it's it's out there underneath that road. And that long stretch of mine goes off, off down that way. So it's it's far enough away not to be bashing into my walls. But close enough so that when I decide, or when I eventually get a sniper rifle and I decide to go up here and start shooting at things, I can easily, you know, hit those targets from here. So fantastic. Um, that's it, I think. See you all now tonight, folks. Hello and welcome back. And there's not that much longer to go. I just wanted to quickly tell you what has changed since just now and a few other bits and pieces so first up i put these these railings and a bit of overhead in if you remember on the previous episode uh, a vulture came through and hit me in the face while i was trying to shoot so this should make that pathing a little bit more awkward i haven't made it you know a more encompassing feature because every bit of weight i add to this structure i mean if this support leg goes the rest of the legs have got to hold this weight. So I don't want to add too much weight to this structure if I can help it, especially above me. Just because it just makes it harder for the whole thing to stay up when it starts losing legs. I've reinforced this last edge. I'm hoping the last piece is dry in time. Oh, there goes another one. So, because yeah, a wet concrete, it's just not got the same durability. As uh, the reinforced dry. I think we should be there. I mean, we've got one hour left. 
those last two pieces hopefully are not gonna be fighting over there so that should should be fine now i i don't have the bullets that's all i've got 127 so i don't have the bullets i had last episode where i just stand here and go crazy however i have trained up another rank in guns so i'm rank three in guns now and pistols so each bullet is going to do more damage i would love to make a tier three pistol I just haven't found the pistol patch yet. I mean, I found another spare pistol, which was also tier one. I stripped it down for parts, but I, I need more. I need more. Arrows, I'm okay. I got, th you know, another 108 in there and some... Oh, that's crossbow bolts. <laughs> oh, don't shoot those. They won't work. And uh, I can make some more. Okay, let's let's make some more in this last moment. Okay, so there you go. I've got plenty of arrows. I would like to have more pistol rounds. I've definitely got the casings and the bullet tips. It's just without the chemistry station, that gunpowder. Whew, that's just going to be so expensive. So we'll try and make do with 127. I'll just have to be a little bit more precise with my shots. So this is it. Night 28. I might as well turn this on. Hopefully all four lights lit up. Yes, they have. So all circuits are on. I could potentially do with another light coming from that long side circuit coming up onto the front of here somewhere. Just so I can look and know that my side panels are actually functioning and active i haven't got a side panel down that side yet but i will do and then i can just look up and check the lights and know that they're active the reason why i haven't put more down is i could do with finding another good engine to stick in my generator and it's got plenty more wattage left but i just i just want to like beef it up a bit more before i start adding even more drain to it Okay, 10 seconds. Here we go. Well, 10 minutes in game, but you know what I mean. 7. 6. Which side now, huh? Is it going to be over there again? I'll start off with the pistol. And switch when we run out. Here we go. Where are they coming from? Until we have spitters. That's the biggie. Okay, they're coming from that direction. Yeah, be more precise with your gun. Come on. I can hear them having a go at something over here. Oh. Ah, ah, come on. Ah, that's, that's pointless.
Ah, I'm doing the damage for them there, aren't I? Get a better angle, yeah. I'm a little concerned I'm fighting so close to the edge. It means things can spit at me. Then they're not coming into the center, but I think I need to make the hole in the center slightly bigger so that I can draw them in a bit more. It's because they can't see me, which is which is the idea. I don't want to see me, but they're not actually adventuring towards me because the hole's too small, I think. I'll probably open it up to a 3x3. Three three. Oh, we've got somebody on the fence. Yeah, it's okay, but we haven't really spit as yet, have we? That's the thing. We haven't really gone up a level in difficulty yet. And when we do, this is not going to be okay. How are we doing for bullets? Uh, okay, we're getting low. Before be missing like that. Okay, that's it for bullets. So 
Try to see if I can draw them closer. They are living at one post. Just don't have the stopping power now, do I? With the, with the arrows, or like with the bullets. Uh, electricity's kicking off, that's good. I can see that pillar cracking. It's taken a lot of damage. The reason I'm standing on this corner is when that pillar goes, I want to be standing right next to another pillar for maximum support. You want to be standing like on or right next to a pillar that's about to break. That would be a little bit crazy. Trying to get their focus to change on a different pillar, but got a little bit of their focus over here. There's still too much focus on that other pillar. Okay, I think they've moved now to this one, which is good. So I wanted. Oh, I can't hit them at the moment. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I could do with not losing a second pillar over here. I mean. It, the, the base. Oh, I gotta repair the bow. The base should cope with two pillars down in that close proximity. Make sure she's dead. Yeah, it should cope with two pillars down. But let's not, like, tempt fate, huh? <laughs> that would be... a test I don't really need to be doing right now. God, you can tell the difference when you lose the, the ammunition, can you? And you go on to... from pistols to bows. On the night 21, we were clear by half past one, I think. Now this place I'm fighting here is pretty good. It's got four pillars. If they take one out, that's fine.
God, is there still more arriving? I can hear the electricity kicking off, and that's usually because there's more arriving. Am I doing for hours? Yeah, I'm okay. Stop moving. Zombie, stay still. Oh, my base is taking a bit of a beating on this one, isn't it? And we haven't even got any difficult zombies yet. <laughs> I mean, no glowing, radioactive, or exploding, or... You know, nothing that starts... Becoming a bit of a challenge. God, there's loads still over here. Wow. This is a lot of zombies this time. This guy's a bit of a pain to hit. Oh, I've, my bow's down again. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I reinforced it all the way to the top because they're certainly trying to climb up. them in the electricity if I can I mean electricity does a lot of work for me they are still coming this really is got a total dawn this is a long, long, long attack. I can hear a spider. There's a spider. Oh, multiple spiders. Oh, there's a spitter. Okay, so there is a spitter. Just as we turn... I wonder what that splash was. Yeah, just as we turn into morning, there's a spitter over there. So I want to try and keep it so that the spitter doesn't get a chance to see me. Oh, 
Whoa, where did he... Is there one outside still, or... Did he see me from somewhere? Oh, there he is. So there's just a spitter down there somewhere. <laughs> you nasty thing. Where are you? Missing him. Missed him again. He's going to blow. There he goes. Okay. Right, I think that's it. <laughs> and uh, there you go folks I hope you enjoyed night 28 that was a long night wasn't it wow I'll just pause it here for myself so that was a hell of a long night that was like half hour straight of fighting near enough uh, do you want to go and see the damage let's have a quick look at the damage before I start my clean up let's just go have a quick check at just how bad things are so the wall, yeah, the wall is okay. There's some looting while we're out there, see what I get. Not that I'm going to be checking for long. Let's grab this loot and then we'll have a quick look at the damage. Let's grab some arrows. Oh, I've seen pistol parts then. I think there was only one. But pistol parts are pistol parts. I don't know what the, the DK timer is on loot drops these days. But I'm not taking any chances. Okay, so damage. Yeah, this fence is fine. I think all of my electric fences are still up. Yeah, every electric fence is active. Yeah. So all of the electric, ooh, almost walked with my spikes. All of the electric fences stayed up, which is great news. Ah, what about the ones in here? These, these quite often break. Oh no, they're, they're, they're up. Pillars, we lost one. That's a nice place for a, for an arrow. Can I even pick that up? Yeah. So that's uh, an interesting pillar. <laughs> this one took a bit of damage. This one. Yeah, it took some damage. No, oh, but we're fine. The base is, is, is fine. It it looks a lot... It felt a lot worse than it is. Structurally, everything seems fine. Just lost one pillar. A bit of damage. Absolutely fine. It's just there was a lot of them. And I'm now completely out of gun ammo. So, yeah, I've got a lot of work to do before the next horde. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty intense there for a while, wasn't it? That, that was a lot. A lot of bad guys. So I'm hoping you're enjoying the Seven Days to Die Iron Man run. We're still alive. We're still on our first life. I'm not sure how long it's going to last for, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we will make the next seventh night and we can see what I've done to my base and how it holds up then. So thank you very much for watching. Click the bell, click subscribe. That way you're not going to miss the next episode. And see you all then, bye, folks. Bye now.